if you don't tell me where your strength is, I won't give you today. I won't give you. Leave me, leave me, leave me. Don't touch me. Oh, 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 just tell me where your strength is before I allow you. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me again. On today's episode, we are going to discuss the very interesting story of Samson and Delilah. When Samson was brought out of the prison, in fact, they were already using him to entertain kings and queens and, you know, people of class. They brought him again to entertain a gathering. His hair was already growing back after it was shaved. And so his power was gradually coming back to him. Remember that he was a Nazarite. He had natural dreadlocks that he was born with. That was the source of his strength. I am not feeling any sorry for Samson who decided to play his life into the hands of the Philistine. The story became ridiculous when they now said that they brought him out as usual from the prison to entertain an audience. He pleaded with the soldiers that were holding him in chains to please allow him to fill the pillars of the temple. <laughs> and so, Samson, one person, stretched out his hand on one pillar of the temple and his second hand on the other pillar of the temple. How? Please, how? I will stand with you between the heavens and the earth. I will tell you where you are. Eh. Do you know how big temples were in those days? So we are the two pillars just close to each other like this. They said the two pillars that were supporting the temple. How? How? Even if they had 100 pillars in that temple, the proximity of each of them to the other, it doesn't make sense that something could reach two pillars. Okay. Even with the small churches and cathedrals we have in recent times, you cannot reach one pillar from the other. You can't with your hands. And that was what Samson pushed and killed the multitude of people that gathered, including himself. <sighs> when you think that one story is beginning to make sense, they will twist it in such a way that you will wonder if it ever happened. This almost rendered this story senseless. Because as far as I'm concerned, there are with no possibility of somebody reaching one pillar from the other one in a temple that was containing over 10,000 persons. I have this figure because that passage said that only those watching from the roof were 3,000. So talk more of all the other people, you know, watching from different floors and those that were on ground. So there were more than 10,000 persons. Capacity. That was the temple that Samson pushed pillars from here to here. I don't know what you guys think about this story, but I found it very funny. Well, we can relate with Samson and Delilah, their experiences, what led to his destruction. If Samson was a womanizer, who could lose himself, forget himself, sell his glory just for an experience. That's his business. That a woman will pester you, pester you. How long? Even if you are to live in the hotel for a year. But this was supposed to be a temporary visit. And a prostitute was telling you, you know, nagging on your head. If you don't tell me where your strength is, I won't give you today. I won't give you. Leave me, leave me, leave me. Don't touch it. Oh, 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 just tell me where your strength is before I allow you. <laughs> that one is not a problem for me. Women are good at that. They can take advantage of anything. So if they know that this is something you like so much, they will take advantage of it. They will use it to get you. That was why. <laughs> A, a proverb in my place said, don't tell a woman where your life is hidden because any day you annoy her, she, she will go there and remove it. How much more this one that was paid to actually remove your life? So this is not my problem, but my problem is 
telling us that he pushed two pillars that were very that were holding the temple and everything came crashing he first pushed the one that was at the city gate <laughs> first time when they locked him up <laughs> they were trying to capture him and he pushed for goodness sake just imagine a gate with the pillars of gates can anyone reach this one from this other one let's say a gate that can pass a car nobody can reach it from here to here without having to run from this side to the other side but Samson, they didn't tell us he was a giant. In the case of Goliath, they told us his size, he was huge. If it was the story of Goliath, I would have started saying maybe he was that huge. But what the Bible said was that Samson was strong, but not that he was huge. So he first pushed the pillars at the city gate. I was like, ha, okay, it's fine. But telling me again that he pushed the two pillars that were the major supports of the temple. <laughs> no, 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 no. He was on chains. So he begged they should allow him to feel it. Oh, what God cannot do does not really exist. <laughs> My name is Vivian and I'm going to see you on the next one. If you like this story, please share and follow for more.